Hey everyone, there were some pretty memorable moments that happened during my time at MEPS and I figured I shouldn't just keep them to myself. So today's video, I am sharing with you guys some funny MEPS stories. I'm just gonna start out with my favorite story right away. So when we get to MEPS on day two, that is the day where everyone goes for all the medical testing and everything. The guy comes out and he's given us this whole briefing. Do not have any weapons on you, no guns, tasers, knives, pepper spray. He's like, does anyone have any of that on them at all? Let me know right now. Nobody says anything and like all of us are kind of like, yeah, no, we don't have this on us. We're not supposed to bring this here. And then right before he starts letting us in through the door, he says, are there any questions? And this one girl raises her hand and was like, what if I have a knife in my bag? And we're all just like, He's thinking like, like a pocket knife. And he says, well, give it here. She hands this dude this knife. And it was like this big, big knife that you can open up like that. And it had the thing, the rings on it where your pinky and your finger can like go into it. It was like a weapon weapon. And we're all like, what the heck? You would think maybe someone would have a little pocket knife if on accident because they might be used to carrying it or maybe pepper spray because I used to carry pepper spray on my keys. I made sure to take everything out, any pocket knife or pepper spray, anything like that because I'm like, I, I, I don't want to be that person. I'm making sure that I'm like following the rules and playing it safe. Another thing that a lot of people have kind of gotten caught up in lately is it's like a credit card knife type of thing. Take it out. Don't bring it. If you do, at that moment, say it to that guy. Do not bring weapons, especially a big old knife that you can like punch someone with. Like we all were like speechless. Even if it's in your backpack, that still counts as on you. Don't bring weapons to maps, you guys. Story number two. Earlier, whenever I was in the main lobby area, they had called a guy's name and he walked over. He was a recruit just like me, but he was kind of like standing in attention like this. I'm assuming this guy that was talking to him was his recruiter. So I could tell he was getting in trouble for something and I overheard a little bit of it. Oh, if I get you in again, are you gonna do what you're supposed to do? Or are you gonna do whatever you want? He's like, I'll do what I'm supposed to do. I'm just thinking like, oh, I wonder what's going on with that. I heard him like asking like, let him take it again. And then he's like, he can take it on Monday, which today is Thursday. And then they don't do ASVAB testing on Friday. He's like, yeah, he can take it again, but he's gonna have to wait till Monday. And he's like, why can't he take it again today? And he's like, if he ain't gonna follow rules, he's not gonna get to do what he wants to do. Fast forward even more to when I'm done with my ASVAB. I was talking to the instructor in there and he's like, I told you to put on a mask when you came in here, right? And he was like telling all of us, like, make sure you have your mask on, do not take it off for anything. We have to have it on the whole time. He's like, yeah, they are out there like thinking I'm a bad guy because I won't let this kid take his test today. So basically what happened is this kid went in there to take his ASVAB and takes his mask off. And then the instructor asked him to put it back on and he wouldn't put it back on. So then he got kicked out of the ASVAB room. When he got kicked out of the ASVAB room, he was walking in the hallway still with his mask off. And then somebody else yelled at him. He started yelling back at somebody else. And then he got kicked out of MEPS, supposedly. I do not understand. Literally all of us are here as recruits to join the military. You're gonna have to follow rules in the military. And especially like as a new recruit, if you, I do not care what your views, thoughts, opinions are on wearing a mask, but when you are joining the military, if you cannot follow simple rules, this is not the profession for you to be in especially when you are just starting to join. Like we have zero authority and we have to listen to everyone above us. And if you can't listen to simple rules at MEPS, I don't know what you're doing. This next story is a little bit on the same lines of listen, follow the rules, and also don't be a jerk 
to the doctors. Whenever you are at Met, you go to what's called the Underwear Olympics, and that's where you have on just your underwear, and ladies will also have a bra on. You have to just do really simple exercises. I have a video that explains different exercises that you do during that time. The doctor would demonstrate an exercise for us to do, and then we would all do that exercise. And there were only six of us ladies in the room. I know for guys there were a whole lot more in the room so I don't know if they broke it down into sections or what because as we're doing it she's looking at each person making sure everybody is doing it properly. Then we would do things where put our arm all the way out and then we would have to bring it to our shoulder really fast like that and then you would have to lock it back out like that. And even the doctor would say, snap it, snap it, snap it, snap it. I can't remember the words that she used, but something like that. There was this one girl who would not listen. And when you don't listen, you're going to get singled out. We would all do this, do this, do this, do this. One girl who would not listen, she just kept going like that and going like that. She's like, no, snap your arm out. And then she would just go, she's like, snap your arm out. And she'd just go like this. She made all of us stop and just made that girl do it by herself. And I mean, that was probably embarrassing on her, but the thing is, is it wasn't just that movement. Cause it's like, okay, well maybe she just had elbow pain, which maybe she did. And that's again, what the doctors are looking for during these times is making sure that everybody is physically capable to join. But it was not just that exercise. Every single time we had an exercise where we had to almost really do anything, this girl just kept not listening to what the doctor said. Kept getting singled out. I just don't know why you would want to bring that upon yourself. And then she kind of would be a smart aleck to the doctor. You bring your knees up really high and you stomp to the ground without hitting the ground. And she's like, lock your knees out. So just like you lock your elbow out really quick, you'd have to lock your knee out really quick. And again, this girl would not do it properly. Doctor would single her out again and tell her, lock your knee out. And then she's like, I am. And she's like, no, you're not. She's like, yes, I am. And the doctor's like, you should be able to feel it. Lock your knee out. And she's like, well, I can't see my knee. I'm like, who do you think you are? Why are you talking to the doctor like that? Like that just goes back to listening and not getting in trouble. I just, I, it blows my mind, you guys. I feel like I have way more stories, but I just cannot remember everything, but I at least have one more for you all. They're gonna look at your butt. If you didn't know that, they're going to look at your butt. And to me, that's something that I was already aware of. I thought like everybody was aware of it, but <laughs> whenever we went into a briefing room, they have a paper on the desks that we kind of read through as we're waiting for the briefing to start. It talks about the medical evaluation. It says women are gonna get like their breasts and genitalia checked and also it probably says rectum instead of your butt. And then the guys, it might say like your genitalia and your rectum, something like that. But when we were in line waiting, I think to get blood drawn or something, and we're all just kind of like sitting in chairs along the wall waiting for our name to be called, this one dude was freaking out. He was like, what? I can't believe they're gonna look at our butt. Like, oh my gosh, that's, that's so gross. And I was like, did you not know this before you came to MEPS? He's like, my recruiter said they didn't do it anymore. I said, well, your recruiter might have been messing with you because this is something that they have always done. But no pun intended on that. To put your mind at ease for everybody, it is literally like 0.5 seconds. It is not a big deal at all. So you can be aware that it's going to happen but not worry because I promise you it's like half a second. No big deal. It's over and you don't even realize it. There's a story I forgot when I shot my video the other day and I haven't edited it yet. So I remembered it and now I'm shooting it to add in. But the next story is when we were in the room getting the hearing test done. So if you guys haven't watched my MEPS day one and day two, go back and watch those if you guys haven't gone to MEPS yet, of course, but I kind of like go through my whole entire day. You wear these uh, headphones that block out any noise 
and you are holding a button in your hand and when you hear the sounds you're supposed to press the button one time and i'm pretty sure they tell us that like surely they tell us that because like everybody else knows that's what you do beep 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 beep, beep. but as soon as you hear the sound you know imagine it maybe i'll just put headphones on me in the video so imagine it you hear the beep 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 and you're supposed to press the button as soon as you hear like any sound like the whole series the whole series so you're supposed to press the button one time like as soon as you hear the first beep in the series that way they can see like how good your hearing is beep 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 you press it on that first one one time for each series that you hear so this kid went in there and ended up failing his hearing test because he was pressing the button every single beep that he heard so he was like beep 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 <laughs> but that is why you just listen at meps the steps are really easy to follow they're yeah nothing is difficult you just do what they tell you you're gonna hear a series of beeps press the button one time as soon as you hear a noise and he just was like playing a video game with his button. He was joining the army, right? <laughs> <laughs> what? He was, wasn't he? I don't. <laughs> he had to have been. I don't remember. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you or someone you may know is getting ready to join the Air Force, I have posted some videos prior to this one about my experience so far, and I am continuing to document everything else that is happening. So if you guys aren't already, make sure you are subscribed, and I'll see you later.